everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a foundation single crochet stitch, which is what you see here in front of you. Now a foundation single crochet stitch is another way of working a foundation chain uh, without the chain. So simply put, if you have a pattern that you are working that requires you to work a foundation chain and then following that a row of single crochet stitches, you can do this instead. So there's no working into that very finicky, sometimes very tight foundation chain. The other benefit that a foundation single crochet row has is that it is quite stretchy which a foundation chain uh, does not have when you work into it it tends to be more tight so today we are going to learn how to crochet or how to make a foundation single crochet Thank you very much for joining me today and if it is your first time to my channel feel free to check out some of my other videos and stitch tutorials there. I upload a new stitch tutorial every Sunday, uh, every Sunday morning and uh, as well I have free crochet patterns. As If you are new or if you are not new and have been here a few times but maybe you haven't subscribed yet, feel free go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join me each week. So for our single crochet foundation chain, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by making our slip knot, which you would for any foundation chain. And we'll put it on our hook. Now for this, we are going to start by chaining two chains. So there's our first chain and our second chain. We're then going to work our first foundation single crochet stitch into the second chain from our hook. So count in one and then two. Insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. Now this loop that is on your hook here, that is going to form your chain stitch. So what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over again and you're going to pull through that first loop. You'll have two loops left on your hook. You're now going to work your single crochet stitch. So yarn over and draw through both of those loops. And that's your first foundation single crochet. You're then going to want to work another one. To do so, you're going to insert your hook into that chain stitch. And that is this one right here. So that's the at the base, basically, of that single crochet stitch. You will see a V like you would in any stitch. You're going to insert your hook down under there, under both loops. So there's the first loop, and there's your second loop. You're going to yarn over and draw up your loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. Remember, you need to make your chain stitch, so you're going to yarn over and draw through that first loop. Still have two loops on your hook, you're now going to work your single crochet stitch. Yarn over and draw through those two loops on your hook, and that's your second single foundation single crochet. We're going to work one more together. So going back to your chain stitch, looking at the bottom there, you can see your V here. That's your chain where you're going to work. Bring your hook under that first loop, under that second loop, yarn over and draw up a loop. You want to make sure that this chain loop is a little bit looser. You want to pull it up to height. Uh, that way your chain foundation chain there isn't too tight and, and causing your row to turn or to curve. You're going to work your chain first. You're going to yarn over and draw through that first loop. There's your chain stitch. Now you're going to complete your single crochet. Yarn over and pull through two loops. One more time. Insert your hook into your chain stitch under the first loop, under the second loop. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through the first loop, that's your chain stitch. Yarn over and pull through the two loops 
on your hook. So you can continue to do that for as many stitches as you need for your foundation chain or your first row of single crochet stitches. You can just simply continue all the way across. When it comes time then to finish that row, all you need to do is chain one and then turn your work or continue in your round and you can see your top stitches here and you will just work your rows uh, from there on end as you would if you had worked a foundation chain plus a row of single crochet stitch. So that's all there is to your foundation single crochet stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye!